Hey and welcome to HR's monthly product updates. We have five tool updates and one general update to share today. Let's start with competitive analysis. In competitive analysis, we've released Linked Intersect 2.0. This tool shows you who's linking to one or more targets, but not others. So let's say we want to see who's linking to competitors, but not to us. I'll select referring domains or referring pages and enter our domain in the top section. And in the bottom, a few competing websites and hit show opportunities. And right away, in the table below, we'll see over 99,000 domains that link to one or more of our competitors, but not to us. Now, this was also doable in the old Link Intersect tool, but we've added some new features and filters to make the new Link Intersect much more flexible and actionable. There are three features I'll highlight today. Firstly, you can now see referring pages as well as referring domains. Just use this report toggle at the top. Secondly, we've added a new heat map. It's the first thing you see in the new link intersect, and it shows us the number of domains or pages that our blog has in common with our competitors. A darker color means a higher number of shared keywords. Thirdly, in the old link intersect, there was no way to set intersection filters, but now you can. One great use for this is to find listicles to build links from. In referring pages mode, let's add ConvertKit in the top section and a couple of its competitors in the bottom. And this gives us a list of all the pages that are linking to ConvertKit's competitors. From here, I'll set filters to narrow in on referring pages with a DR of 30 and above, and that get traffic of over 500 visits a month. And to make results hyper-relevant, let's also narrow it down to results that link to all three competitors. And right away, we see some listicles that might be great targets to reach out for a mention. We've also made competitive analysis. So, both Content Gap 2.0 and Link Intersect 2.0 tools available for all legacy plans. Moving on to Site XBAR. We've added a new widget in Overview that shows the top five competitors of your target and how everyone matches up against each other. The bigger the size of the circle, the more pages a competitor has. We can think of it as a visual competitor gap analysis. Moving on. In the top pages report, you can now filter by exact words or phrases in SERP titles. You can also do this for ad titles and descriptions in the paid pages report. For example, search for the word alternative in ad titles for a competitor's site to see comparison pages that might be worth looking into. Moving on to Keywords Explorer. We have something really exciting this month, our first AI feature. You can now generate seed keyword ideas with AI. Just choose a preset and type in a seed keyword. For example, we can ask AI to suggest technical and specialized terms related to cough. This gives us uncommon seed keywords. And since everyone searches using the same seed, it helps us find keyword opportunities that are potentially untapped. You can also type in your own prompt directly. This feature is available on all paid plans. Moving on, we've improved the logic for Keywords Explorer's search suggestions report. We've expanded our list of search suggestions to include keywords that aren't indexed in our database, helping you to discover emerging trends. For example, when I search for B2B SaaS marketing and go to the search suggestions report, we'll see terms like B2B SaaS marketing org structure and B2B SaaS marketing tactics. There's no data available, but these are emerging trends. Since we don't have metrics attached to these keywords, they'll be excluded from the report if you apply a filter. Moving on to Site Audit. Before, any workspace user or guest could modify Site Audit issues for the entire workspace. Now, they can only do this for the projects they have access to, while workspace admins and owners can adjust any project's issues for the entire workspace. I'll leave a link to more details on access control features in the description below. Moving on to Rank Tracker. We've added a useful little feature to Rank Tracker's Luca Studio Connector the ability to filter rank tracker charts and reports by exact keyword. This lets you reproduce the keyword positions history chart in Luca Studio. Moving on, we've launched a new GSC keywords report, which shows you your Google Search Console data for keywords right in rank tracker. This release provides basic filtering and shows data for the web search type only. Moving on to our last general update. We've added a new usage monitoring endpoint in API v3 for enterprise plans. It gives information on your subscription and API usage, so you can monitor usage programmatically, set up automated internal notifications, and so on. I'll leave a link to the API docs in the description below. And that's all for today. If you have any feature requests, you can leave them on our Canny. 
See you in the next update and have a great day.